of my fellow Minecrafters, happy Halloween and welcome back to the Minecraft Arena YouTube channel. Today we will be going over the last Halloween update that is actually launching today on Halloween. Before we go over what the update holds, I have some things to say. Yes, I am aware that this video got delayed by a ton. <laughs> because of this, I am extending this update the first week of November. Which means even though the Hangout Zone won't be free, you can still play around on the update until November. <coughs> Not until November, I'm sorry. In the first week of November. So it gives the arena team a quick break after sweating through this update. So this update was relatively small, but that is only because we are, we had to finish, <coughs> excuse me, we had to finish the uh, Haunted Mansion, so that's pretty much why. We will be going over all the update changes, smallest to biggest. Well, if you go into Arena Arcade, no, we did not decorate it, we didn't have time to. You can, say that, you can see that the currency of clay is currently gone. It's not gone forever, just removed temporarily. We will be remaking it in the November update along with a shop. Go to this empty area, you'll see this. Huh, wonder what that means. You guys will see later, soon enough. Also extended some of the smaller buildings in Arena Town. As you can see, FNAF looks a little bit bigger. And this arena game has also been a lot bigger. Auto Royale has been given a new POI that went over an old POI. No, it doesn't bring any new chests or anything fancy like that. It's just a decoration that blocks your path. That huge building with shulkers has been replaced with a pumpkin. Now, yes, the top looks like a top hat. It looked normal, but then we turned it into a top hat because we thought it was funny. So, yeah, you cannot enter this pumpkin. It's just for decoration and to block your path. But, hey, the building was useless anyway. This pumpkin will be removed soon enough. Originally, we only had, like, one pixel art. But then we kept making more, so I think we can call pixel art officially a part of Arena. They are also... Like, a main part of passing the tour. Because you see all of them. You already seen it. A new pixel art? Doom Slayer from the game Doom. Very big, very cool. I didn't think anything would get bigger than Rayquaza. I was wrong. Fun fact about these pixel arts. The people... I don't know who made... The person that made Rayquaza might have actually copied it from youtube but because you know i haven't talked to him in a while but all the other ones were made by sonic okay and he does not copy them from youtube he just looks at a picture and does it himself so besides the rayquaza all of them were made just by the arena team you cannot find them anywhere else you might be able to find something similar, but not the exact same one. The last thing before I give you a tour of the Arena Haunted Mansion, the dog park has been given a decoration. As you can see, it has a new sign that quotes Arena Park. New houses that are currently... Are those houses or seats? No, those are just seats. This cool thing that I like for some odd reason. And a dirt wall surrounding the area. We gave it this decoration because in the November update, the dog park will be removed from the hangout zones. And it will become a DLC, similar to Arena Arcade or the Nether. After we go over this, we can go into the Haunted Mansion. Because I completely forgot about this. As you can clearly see, Arena HQ got some nice decorations. But, if you go inside, there's actually decorations inside. 
I don't know if I've shown you this before. I, I think I have. Yeah, I've shown you this in the last episode. Sorry, I just woke up. You can tell my voice is really tired. I just had to get through this video because... In an hour, I have a Halloween party. And I have to make my Halloween vlog on my other channel, so... I had to get this knocked... I had to get this video knocked out in the morning. Anyway, introducing the new... Actually finished... Hangout Zone or in a Haunted Mansion. It costs three bricks per se, or you can visit in October for free. Which means only today. For the rest of November, you have to pay for it. You spawn on this path, look behind you, and there is the Haunted Mansion. I'm going to give you a quick tour because we probably won't have another video on it. On each side of the entrance of the building, there is a game mode. There's a game mode here, which is basically just a race from the very top of the building to the end. And then here is bush collector, where there are various there are various bushes put before the game mode was even made on the house. And you have to collect all of them. The most bushes wins. Those two are just some mini game modes. That took like zero time to make. Yeah, there is a tour coaster. Obviously, tell. But walking into this cool entrance, this is the main lobby. Hold on. I'm gonna put on a potion. Because it's relatively dark in here. There we go. This is the main lobby. It has everything the main lobby would have. It has your beds to sleep. And the exit is also in this bedroom that will take you back to Arena. Also, the coordinates are really far. Making those command blocks were a pain. You have two zombie workers here for the gift shop. Right here. And you see that they cost scoops, which we'll get to later. We also see here, there's a prize counter, and you get two scoots for every win. Which are not in there, but I'll add them when I feel like it. Anyway, scoots are the currency, not only for the Haunted Mansion, but for every single arena hangout zone. In November, we will be adding these scoots to the summer resort in exchange for not having a hangout zone in November. So these scoots are the payment and currency that you get at every hangout zone with a shop that's different at every hangout zone. These scoots will be added to the resort, I mean to the summer resort soon enough. Oh, that's over with. There's a game mode right here. Spider, spider climb. Go to the top and race down in these tubes. First one down the webs wins. Then you have this here. Probably the best game mode in the whole mansion. I really enjoy it. We have costume creator where you pick your loadout and fight. I might actually turn this into a normal paid game mode because I love the idea. But it's really limited to Halloween themed. Well, not really. First of all, you select a suit, which is armor. Gold, that better protects you but breaks faster. Or iron, that doesn't protect you that well but stays for a while. You can select a counter, which is an axe, counter to the shield, and a fishing rod to grab people. You can select a secondary weapon, which is just a long-ranged bow. A mask. You can select a perk. Which could be anything. Any of these three. Oh, no. Let's put that back. You can select a primary weapon. You can select a food item. 
and finally you select a potion. Once you're done, you can exit out here and fight in this cool looking arena. As people from the outside can watch you fight, which is really cool. Basically it for the lobby. Upstairs you can go to more mini games. There are more mini games and of course more of the roller coaster here. There's only two mini games here, but we plan on adding more very soon. Three, actually, my bad. Three. The first one is a go is a ghastly game. It is called Ghost Run, I think. Oh no, Ghost Grumpers. Basically, ghosts drink potions of invisibility and complete the parkour all the way on the end of the flag. Not under it, but on top of it, standing on the wall. As a hunter that will be given a bow or a crossbow, I'm not sure. Crossbow. We'll be trying to shoot the ghosts and trying to defeat them in eight minutes. Which is exactly the time when the potion runs out. So you won't need a timer for this one. It's just whenever the potions run out on the ghosts and they haven't crossed the finish line yet, the hunter wins. Over here, we have a game including targets, which I want to do a lot more of. It's not just shooting them with the bow. We're more original than that. Even though I probably will do that soon. This game is called Skeleton Sketch. Basically, all players must enter, or maybe one player, it's one to uh, four players, one skeleton per person, and your job is to lead your skeleton to shoot any of the targets, to trick it into shooting a target. Every target gives you a certain amount of points. This the side targets, two points, middle target, five points. Now, another game very similar to this would be um, Giggling Graveyards, which has a similar point system, and it has a point chart with different rewards. So, this is the point chart for Skeleton Sketch. If you get zero to two points, you lose. If you get four to six points, you win. If you get eight to ten points, that is double rewards. If you get 12 to 14 points, you pick a player, one player, to not earn rewards. Because remember, with the new currency system, you always get five nuggets. But you can take away those five nuggets. I mean, not, not the nuggets, my bad. The scoots for playing, just for playing. Now, right now, it only says two scoots for winning, but I'm probably going to update that with, like, a board that says what you need to do for certain scoots. But probably in the next update. And here you have 16 to infinite points. Only you get rewards. And everyone you're playing with loses their rewards because you did so good. That's Skeleton Sketch. Now a third game mode is clearly not visible. But if you go to this window, you find a new game of this called House Defender. You take a bow or crossbow, stand out here on the balcony, and shoot zombies as they will spawn on the road. If they leave your vision and go up those stairs, even one of them, you lose. When we eventually remake a PvZ game mode, I want it to be something similar to this. And yes, there will be someone down there making the zombie spawn. There's no command block for it. Anyway, we can go up to the next floor, which is the library. Now, something cool about the next two floors is that depending on what staircase you take depends on where you actually go. They both take you to the library, but they take you to two different entrances. Because the library is actually a maze, and the two entrances give you two different entrances to the maze 
separately. Here is the maze. It's not that big of a maze, but it, it's cool. And without the night vision, it'll be pretty scary. You can find chests that earn you three or two scoots. If you, if you come across one of them, you can only take it once, and that's it for the rest of eternity. But it's a really cool maze. You can find these things that don't do anything, they're just for decoration. And of course, once you reach the middle, it should be lit up here. You'll be earned with lapis and an enchantment table to enchant whatever you want with no cost, no price. And that's kind of your reward. And of course, the other entrance to the maze is very similar and is right here. Really cool. Now, these two entrances give you two completely different things. As before, they both say the roof, but they bring you to different places to the roof. This one brings you to the hot tub. It's literally just a pool. Nothing special. And you'll be mad when you see the other entrance will actually lead you to a roller coaster. Now, I have no idea. This roller coaster is freaking huge, but yet you can hide it behind the mansion. Now, yes, you can see the railings across the place, but you'll, you'll be thinking the whole time, where is this roller coaster? Just to find out, it's not even hidden. Basically a haunted mansion. Hiding things in plain sight. Anyway, that is the hot tub. But if you take the other opposite entrance from the library, it will bring you to the roller coaster. This is the entrance to the roller coaster. There is no exit, and you'll see why. This roller coaster is not slow like the tour one, but it does give you a tour within itself. All right. All right, we're gonna go this way. We're going up here, down, up, Basic roller coaster, but then you realize you jump out the window down here. Really cool. Bumpy, 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 bumpy towards the side. Inside the library to the second floor. I think we're gonna go to the lobby. Maybe not. Probably not. Yep, we're in the lobby. We're underground. Yes, the haunted house is floating. The thing holding it up is the stairs. And we're back here to do one last final roller coaster trip. Up here in a circle, and you can see where this is going. We jump into the hot tub. And in order to get another ride, you'll have to go downstairs, go through the maze that is the library, and get back to the roller coaster. We did that purposely to more use the library, because we're like, once you pass the library, you're not using it again. So my idea was, why not send them back here, just to do the maze all over again. Really cool. And it also gives the hot tub more of a purpose, because it doesn't have a purpose, besides making skits of it. Also, I was going to post this video yesterday, and make a skit for the Haunted Mansion, for Halloween. Which would have been a cool treat for you guys, but like, I don't feel like doing that. The roller coaster is really cool, and there's nothing really wrong with it. It's high paced and everything. The only problem is pieces of it are scattered all over the mansion, and people can easily hop a ride just by just being there. You can do parkour into the logs, especially in the library. There's a part where you can just, it's, it's open, and you can just, you know, do that. So until Minecraft makes a way... That we can block these things without having... See? See right here. You can just climb. But besides that, that is pretty much it for the Haunted Mansion. Really cool. 
In my opinion, it is way better than the summer resort. But that's just my opinion. You guys tell me your guys' opinion in the comments down below. Now, this isn't the end for the Haunted Mansion. Not only for the Haunted Mansion, but for the summer resort and any future resorts, every time we come back to it, we will be updating it. So, for example, when we come back to the summer, instead of making a new summer resort, we will simply update the summer resort and give it more game modes outside of just the simple casino. And that means for 2021's Halloween, if Arena's still alive, we will be back here and we will be updating it. Probably with more game modes on the second floor. And we're planning to make things outside of the mansion. Like a cornstalk maze and stuff like that. The cornstalk maze, if we do make it outside of the mansion, it's going to be a real maze and not just an easy maze like the library. It's going to be a real maze. Also, the path will probably extend to these other areas. Anyway... You guys know the drill I showed you guys before. In order to exit the Haunted Mansion and go back to Arena from coordinates away, go to where you're staying for the night and press the exit button. And we have been teleported back to Arena, exactly where the Summer Resort teleports us. Also, Arena Arcade was originally barricaded, but now it's open. Yay. Guys, that is it for this update. Remember, you have the first week of November to play it. And the November update will not be out until after the first week of November. After that update of November... I mean, forget it. During that break, I will probably be posting a video on the FNAF 3 guide. With... Which will be really exciting. So, during the first week of November, we will be getting a FNAF 3 guide, as promised. Really exciting. Also, for November, I plan on adding a new POI here. I have no clue what it's going to be yet. Or maybe I do. I think I do. I think I have a good idea what I'm going to do. It has absolutely nothing to do with November. It's just a new POI idea, because why not? Also, in the summer, remind me to add, like, a Paradise Island POI. Anyway, the POI is going to be sick. I just feel like adding a new POI, so it's going to be sick. Probably going to replace this little dirt island here. Or maybe not, because I kind of like that island. I'm thinking maybe it's going to be... It's, it's going to be huge. So I think I might push it back all the way over here. Which will be really interesting. And maybe I'll turn this cloud into a mini POI. We'll see. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I will put it somewhere. So, I'll see you guys later. And happy Halloween. I'm not currently wearing my costume, but if you want to see what I'm going to be for Halloween, go on... Tico Bat Crump, which is my personal channel that I don't share with my friends. And it's not only about Minecraft. I do gaming videos, vlogs, tutorials, plushy videos, and stuff like that. I'm being Charles Sickman for Halloween. And if you want to see how I made that happen, you can come over to my channel. Anyway, this is Minecraft Arena. Wishing you a happy Halloween, and I'll see you guys later.